Hey canopy climbers, ready to time travel? Let's clamber back 300 million years to the Carboniferous period. Imagine a world where the air is so thick with oxygen, it feels like a different planet. The forests aren't made of the trees you know, but towering cathedrals of giant club mosses and horse tails, and soaring high above the salient. Jungle is Meganura. Think of a dragonfly, but supersized. Its wingspan is wider than your forearm. This wasn't just some gentle glider. It was an apex aerial predator. Its nervous system was fine-tuned for high speed. Dog fights in the sky. Its massive compound eyes, like to faceted moons, could track the slightest movement from miles away. Below, spiny legs were spring-loaded, ready to snap shut around unsuspecting millipedes or even small amphibians. That made the mistake of coming up for air. Meganora was a marvel of biological engineering. The veins in its wings formed a lattice, like the trusses of a bridge distributing stress and allowing for incredible strength and flexibility. Its thoracic muscles fired like twin pistons, converting calories directly into altitude with ruthless efficiency. In a world where insects were big enough to be a serious meal, Meganura was the top gun. So, why did it get so huge? Well, it was a perfect storm of factors. First, that super-rich oxygenated atmosphere I mentioned. It allowed their simple respiratory systems to fuel a much larger body. Second, there were no birds or bats yet. Meganura had the skies all to itself, with no vertebrate competition. And finally, some good old architectural luck in how arthropod bodies are built. They just scale up really well when the air gets generous. Down below this aerial battlefield, the world was just as strange. Vast peat swamps were slowly forming what would one day become our cool seams, and crawling through the undergrowth were creatures, like Arthropleura, giant millipedes the size of a small car, moving like animated logs. But no empire lasts forever, towards the end of the Carboniferous. The climate changed, the great forests crashed, and oxygen levels began to drop. The sky literally started to shrink for these giant arthropods, at the same time, the first vertebrate flyers began to appear, filing their own flight plans. The age of giants like Meganora was over, but their legacy lives on. That incredible blueprint, the predator eyes, the nut-like leg, grab the breathtaking mid-air agility was passed down through the millennia. You can see it today in the dragonflies that dart over ponds at dusk, still the undefeated champions of their domain. They are the living echoes of a time when insects ruled the skies. If exploring the giants of deep time gets your pulse racing, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and let me know in the comments which ancient sky engineer you want us to track down next. Thanks for watching.